Hey everybody, this is Russell Holly here. We're going to take a look at Android M's developer preview on the Nexus 5. This is just going to be a quick walkthrough of the uh, available visual changes that we can see uh, with the Android M preview, understanding that Things are going to change as Google continues to work on things. Nothing is set in stone here, but it's fun to see what the company is playing around with. And as we can see, a boot animation so far is not one of them. We've got a very familiar boot animation here, as well as the card letting us know that Android is starting and things are upgrading to let you know that this isn't exactly a finished product yet. Uh, we've got a pretty standard looking home screen here if you've used a Nexus device, although in the bottom left we see a microphone now instead of a phone, and uh, getting that to work is 50-50 right now. It crashes every once in a while, uh, but it basically takes you to Google Voice Search, so if you've used that before, you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. The home screen, as long as you're signed into Google Now, should look real familiar. You've got Google Now to the left, and your launcher is pretty much the same the buttons are in the same place but the actual app drawer is now an alphabetized vertical list instead of the paginated cards and you've got a quick swipe on one side so that you can go from uh, letter jumps or you can just flick in which direction the flicking is nice and fast but you've also got these icons on top these four app icons are not part of the drawer uh, that you can adjust. They actually change on their own based on your usage. And right now it's kind of spotty uh, as to how well it works. Uh, it, sometimes it'll update it quickly, sometimes it takes a little while longer to update, but it's supposed to be based on your usage uh, that those apps will update up there. So if there are apps that you use frequently, chances are you will see them up there. Uh, taking a look at the notification tray, things are in just about the same place. Uh, drawers load with the same smooth animation that we're used to seeing. Uh, notifications can be dismissed with the same kind of smooth animations that we saw in Lollipop. There's a lot of familiarity here, and that was supposed to be the point. This is supposed to be way more about polish than anything else. But taking a look through the settings, we are going to see some differences. And we'll start off with some of the fun stuff. I head to the About Phone section, and we'll take a look at the, the little Easter egg that is here for Android M, which is a nice material-looking M with some fun button pushes, and the meh emoji, the shrug of shoulders uh, that you see if you hold uh, in one place here on this section. Uh, not going to let us know what the next version is actually called yet, so we've got... Uh, a guessing game ahead of us. Let's just thumb through the developer options since we're here. Uh, we'll see a lot of these things are very familiar. There's not a whole lot changing here. Uh, we do see uh, something about legacy DHCP, which means we're getting a new DHCP system in Android M, and we haven't heard a whole lot about that yet, but it's going to replace the one that's in Lollipop right now. So we're going to do a little more research on that. We've also got themes, uh, which are in the developer options. So it may not be something that we see on a user-facing thing. And it doesn't actually apply everywhere. So the dark theme doesn't apply to the launcher. Uh, but you've got a dark theme in settings, which is kind of nice if you're used to it. There's also an automatic sec uh, setting. But it's not entirely clear what triggers the automatic yet. This is still pretty early days. So it could just be something that I haven't noticed yet. Uh, we'll take a look at uh, applications. Uh, the Nexus 5 is getting a little long in the tooth here, but we see that applications still load plenty fast. Uh, but we do see that Google Now on Tap is not currently functioning when you try and swipe up to access Now on Tap instead of regular Google Now. And we'll probably see more of that as the developer preview continues to grow. Uh, but everything is really surprisingly functional so far as you know. developer preview goes. This is... Uh, you know, pretty good stuff. But let's take a look at the app section and the big permissions thing. This is one of my favorite things to have been announced, the ability to see and adjust permissions for each application. For example, the camera. Let's go ahead and turn off the location uh, on the camera so that there's no way that the camera is aware of location. Location can't be added to photos. Uh, and that's just something you can go in and do now. You can access the camera permissions and uh, turn that off for the applications that are appropriate and look and see what permissions each program is asking for. We'll also take a look 
at the security settings that are happening here and see yeah, a lot of things are very similar. We've got smart lock doing its thing still. We've got uh, encryption doing its thing still. Credentials doing its thing still. Uh, so, you know, a lot of this is just polish, which is what we keep saying and what Google keeps saying. And that ends up being a really good thing. Taking a look further into the launcher, we see that we've got uh, settings are pretty much what you expect. Uh, but then the widgets are aligned a little differently uh, where you've got them in a nice list that you can go through and they scroll in two different directions. So you can scroll to see the, the general list and then you can uh, scroll through that individual app's list of widgets. So if you have an app that has a bunch of different widgets, then you can take a look and choose which ones are best. I'm not seeing a whole lot in the way of new widgets here for Google's products. This is all pretty much what you expect to see as you go through. Uh, News and Weather has a couple of dark widgets. Uh, but a lot of the things here, they're just organized a little differently, and we've got that, that nice big display there to, to show how everything is working. So let's go ahead and take a look at the battery. This actually sat off the charger overnight so that I could see how the, the new Doze features uh, were performing on this Nexus 5. And as you can see, it's got a pretty steady battery draw here. Uh, there, there isn't a whole lot of uh, you know, flat line. The, the battery was definitely being consumed overnight. So maybe Doze isn't uh, running correctly on this yet, or, or, you know, there's not a whole lot in speculating there. But battery saving is in the same place. And now we can actually take a look at what is ignoring optimizations. And we see that Google's applications are ignoring optimizations. Uh, but battery optimizations are now either off or on for uh, the apps that are in this list. And you can go through and choose... Uh, how things are optimized for these applications and hopefully that ends up making a bigger difference uh, as we get closer to M being released. Last but not least, let's take a quick look at the sound and notification settings which have changed a little bit uh, more similarly to what we saw in the developer preview for Lollipop. So this may mean that Google is going back a little bit or it may mean that you know they're just keeping things the way that they were for the previous developer preview. There's no guarantees here, but priority mode seems to have gone away, and instead we have alarm settings that actually work, and we have a whole, you know, organized notification system that's actually built into the drop-down menu for navigation. Your quick settings are all there, and it, it makes it faster. It, it, it does what a lot of people wanted it to do in the first place. And so if this sticks around, then we've got that to look forward to. And that's been our M Developer Preview. Thanks for watching.